All right, guys, so we got two, uh, well, three cases that we need to work on. This one is at 45. As you can see, it's calling for cooling. This one down, it's calling for cooling. And this one down is calling for cooling, and it's at 81. So uh, none of the units above are running. Um, all our fans and stuff is running in the cases. We got airflow across. Uh, I'm trying to look for the uh, E2 controller. Uh, I had a call to see where it was at so I can locate it, so I can look uh, at the logs and all that. But uh, right now I'm checking this case right here, this frozen food case, going up the wrong staircase. Anyway guys, I'm up on top. Uh, this is the remote uh, condenser, come with your compressor, uh, your condenser. Um, you also got a um, receiver tank on here. Uh, it's very simple and all that. You just got your contactor and the run capacitor. Um, so, our control voltage, this blue wire right here is coming from that controller right there. So we should have power there. Uh, the core voltage on here should be 208. If I have voltage present there, uh, then something got to be going on with my contactor because like I said, it's calling for it. So we're going to see. So I do have 208 uh, volts on the control side of present. Like I said, I'm even pulling the contactor in. I came across to where a contactor was bad before. Um, so I'm going to see if I got a contactor, see if I can change it out real quick and uh, go from there. Anyway, guys, I got my contactor right here. So I'm going uh, to change this out and uh, put it in there and uh, go from there. And make sure your power is disconnected. All right, guys. So um, if you're not good at remembering wire, take pictures of it or wire it uh, wire for wire. Um, this is pretty simple and stuff, so I sometimes uh, remember. Sometimes I take pictures just to be uh, for sure. Uh, but anyway, our main voltage is coming uh, through this way. Uh, back here is our control uh, side. This pulls in the contactor. Uh, like I said, um, this blue wire go to that controller. Um, so it's calling for cooling and all that. So to test it out real quick all right as you can see guys the cool is pulling in so <laughs> that contact uh, that coil is bad and i already knew it uh, just off the jump um like i said the controller is sending voltage uh, we have 12, 208 volts uh, to the coil so yeah so i'm gonna go in and change this one out and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to change out the next one and like I said, guys, make sure y'all wire everything uh, wire for wire. Make sure you have it in the correct place. Uh, these two wires are for our compressor. Um, and we got our run capacitor also, also on it. It's like real simple. Uh, but anyway, um, i get to y'all in a bit uh, once we got everything changed out and complete. But uh, once I got it in, I'm gonna show the uh, how it's installed. Uh, and then I'm going to go in and do the other ones and then I'm going to show y'all the temps uh, coming down. Alright guys, let me go ahead and show y'all the wiring. I know I said I'm going to show y'all how it's done. Uh, but these two wires are for your condenser fan motor. So it's going to go on uh, each leg where the power is coming in. So you can put it on this tab back here. And then you put the other leg on the other tab which is right here. Um, but if you had another leg right here, um, you can put it in any direction on the matter. Um, so this is black wire to compressor, and we got a red wire to compressor, and then we got uh, one wire off our run capacitor right here. So the black gonna go right here. Uh, these two reds are gonna go back right here, and that's gonna be it. So yeah. All right, guys. So got the new contact. Gonna see if she come on. She should. Temperature should drop. Now, uh, if I came and the unit was short cycling and stuff, then I would place my gauges on the unit. Um, 
just to verify the pressures. Maybe we had like a small leak somewhere. A uh, common leak is on these fittings sometimes. Or factory uh, issues sometimes. Like this contact right here. Overall, real easy setup. Real easy. All right, y'all see it. There we go. Y'all see it with your own two eyes. Like I said, I changed one before. So anytime you got the proper voltage to your coil and the contactor ain't pulled in, go ahead and change that contactor. Now, um, if we wasn't getting power to that uh, contactor, say if we didn't have one, uh, say if we didn't have power here uh, from that blue wire that goes from that controller, then I'll be looking at the controller uh, and making my way down. And uh, I had to replace two compressors before and it was brand new, so things just happen this charge getting hot suction getting cold so I'm all right with it all right guys so y'all see that snowflake in the fan that's that's indicated it's calling for cool uh, if y'all have like the snowflake and drip that's in defrost but it's calling for it. so it's not running this is the one that's 84 so I'm gonna check this contactor now, make sure we got a uh, power. If we got 208 volts, uh, I like coal, then I'm gonna have to change this contactor out. And also, I probably need to show y'all inside this box. Um, yeah, I'll probably show y'all inside this box. All right guys, so I like to check each leg. Um, you got a jumper, a uh, wire, uh, one is off the main, and uh, going feeding the uh, coil. Anyway, I got a uh, 120 there, and then this blue wire which comes from that controller. Um, I have 120 also. And then when I put both leads here, I got 208. This uh, bad boy should be uh, pulled in right about now, but it ain't. So I'm finna change this out. Um, pretty self-explanatory. It's real easy. Um, if I didn't have uh, voltage at that wire, I'll have to look at my main uh, power. I gotta see if it's a fuse blown in this box. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all uh, inside this box in a bit. And I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. Got our main two wires for our main feed. Let's just call it that. Damn, I'm dropping everything. Then I got this uh, wire that's coming from the controller. And then we got our little jumper wire, which is right here. I can take it off. I won't be a pain. There we go. This thing is so handy. This is little jumper wire we're uh, talking about right here. Um, put that to the side. And I'm um, remove my compressor wire, which is black. Really? <clears throat> this contact is different right here. See, I got the ones where you just stick the wires in, not the screw set like the other one. So I'm going to end up like snipping these ends and um, shoving them in there.
these two for my family. Alright guys, finna hook up my main feed. Uh, these are the two wires uh, that send our voltage to our compressor and our condenser fan. So, red gonna be over here and uh, black gonna be here. Uh, so when that contact to pull in, it's gonna complete the path, uh, allowing uh, uh, the electricity to, to flow through. Right here. That's where your main power come in, these are the fuses, and then I believe these are the fuses for the switch. I want to say for your heaters. I got to look at a wire diagram. Anyway, the wire diagram right here, if y'all want to look at that. I'll take a picture of that. Uh, but that's what's under this box right here. Anyway, I got my wire strip like it's supposed to. And I'll make sure these are super tight. Don't have them loose. Like I said, I'm gonna make sure it's tight. Always make sure your electrical is super tight. <clears throat> If you want to, I know you can uh, uh, flip this whole assembly uh, too. But uh, I'll probably just flip it real quick. It ain't gonna take long. But you got two small screws. Just flip the main uh, plate or data plate, whatever you want to call it, around. Or you could just leave it as is. I mean, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Um, but just to be more uh, technical, or I don't know if you OCD. You might want to flip it around uh, but anyway i'm finna turn her on in a bit and i'm gonna show y'all that and then i'm gonna let the case temps uh, go down all right guys i'm giving y'all the run around right about now i forgot about to explain uh one wire this black wire um it's also like a main feed wire it's a leg one leg um if you wasn't getting well if i wasn't getting power or you wasn't getting power uh on that back 
Um, then I will look at my fuses and all that to make sure they're good. Um, if my fuse blown, then I need to see why my fuse have blown. Um, or see why I'm missing a leg, rather it's from an electrical panel or uh, from this disconnect box. Um, I just wanted to bring that in because I meant to mention that. All right, guys, she is running. Discharge is hot. Uh, suction is cold. Um, pretty simple, uh, pretty easy. Uh, bad contactor for factory. Uh, had bad compressors before where I had to replace after a new install. Um, what else? Had a couple leaks from factory uh, that we had to patch up before or a TSV uh, uh, clogged up due to the solder. So it's many uh, little small issues from factory that uh, plays a role, but uh, Hussman, they got some good cases, Copeland, good compressors and all that. Uh, you know, things just, you know, be bad sometimes. Um, but anyway, uh, this is my receiver tank right here. This is my compressor. This is my condenser. Um, once again, this is a uh, discharge probe. It reads uh, the discharge uh, uh, temperature. Uh, I guess if it go over a certain amount of number, I guess it will uh, indicate it on the controller. Also, you got your high pressure switch right here. Uh, that reads the pressure. So this uh, senses pressure, uh, this senses uh, temp. Um, if that condenser motor went out, this whole thing would have been hot. Uh, if y'all haven't seen a recent video, I've done it before. Uh, you got all your little electrical and all that up here, so it ain't bad. Uh, it's pretty uh, cramped space, pretty cramped. Uh, I like installing these units. I like setting the cases. Uh, so it's pretty fun and all that. Um, I know how to wire this up. Um, I may forget sometimes because I don't do them for so long. But if I'm doing it back to back, I mean, it's right on the back of my hand and stuff. Uh, also, setting up these canopies and stuff, it's, uh, it's pretty fun and stuff. Anyway, temperature's climbing down. Uh, it's gonna take a while, got a lot of heat in that case. Anytime a case is down, it's gonna have a lot of heat and it's gonna take time to remove it. Um, so, but this uh, this one should come down pretty quick. Uh, let me know if y'all familiar with these dick cell controllers. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy. If I want to put in defrost, I think I can uh, hold this button and down arrow, or I can just hold that button and throw it in defrost. Um, I'm aware of the parameters on here, so um, they not bad. All right, this case off too. Uh, the main call was the other two cases, um, but I seen this one down. Rigging HA high temp alarm. Um, it's calling for uh, cooling, as y'all can see with the snowflake and the fan. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna do the same procedure over there, uh, and I'm gonna show y'all the temps after uh, they come down. All right, guys, so my temperature's still coming down. It's about a degree. This one uh, had the same issue as these other two cases. Uh, this one is about down to a uh, below zero. Um, I'm about to do some paperwork, um, get the numbers off these cases. Uh, these contactors should be under warranty, um, but we'll see. I'm going to take the old ones back. So I had to use three contactors. Uh, this was the most I ever had to use. Um, so anyway, it's very simple. Um, not too bad. Y'all drop our input uh, down below. Uh, have y'all, I don't know if y'all worked on this type of equipment before. But I'm pretty sure y'all came across a bad contactor. I came across by, uh, bad contactors plenty of times. Um, so it ain't nothing new to me, but uh, it's pretty fascinating to have three uh, out. Uh, this is a Mar Dollar General Marketplace. They got uh, coolers in the back. Uh, they got just extra cases. Um, and I like the setup and all that that they have. Uh, dollar stores, they taking over. I'm not gonna lie, they are taking over. They got a cooler. 
and another cooler and it should be a freezer uh, these run off of r290 uh, they are self-contained r290 is flammable i worked on r290 units uh like going from refrigerators um big uh, uh commercial fridges um so they're not they're not bad at all most dollar stores don't have coolers and all that most of them they do they starting to have them now um yeah that's pretty much it and as always uh, i really appreciate the support and thank y'all uh, today been uh, actually uh, pretty damn good. I can't complain. Uh, finna get uh, headed home, uh, relax a little bit, uh, prepare for this week weekend. I'm ready for it. Um, sure, I'm excited. I'm I'm ready to uh, look forward. Um, uh, if y'all made it this far, I really appreciate it. I hope y'all consider subscribing. And um, that's uh, pretty much it. See y'all. And uh, one uh, other thing I forgot to mention, I really don't have to, but uh, some dollar stores, uh, most of dollar stores uh, have uh, self-contained units that y'all had uh, seen me recently worked on. Um, most of them got uh, zero zone, uh, remote uh, condensers on top of the rooftops or on the side. Uh, if y'all haven't seen recent videos, I did have a, a video of a whole beard case and um, dairy case down uh the condensers was outside and i showed y'all where a unit uh the copper had got stolen um also you got some with the uh, uh, parallel racks i think we have like one or two stores with a parallel rack and then we got the other ones with like the scroll compressors you could i wonder what you i think you can call it a, a parallel rack too but they on top of the cooler so uh, y'all seen it before if y'all have been watching me if not just go back to my dollar general videos and um yeah just watch it and uh interpret it uh from there uh, but anyway like i said i appreciate y'all thank y'all um for the do this paperwork let these case temps uh down as y'all seen the units came on the temperatures is dropping so hey one more uh and also check my amp drone for the compressors and all that make sure all my connections and all that was tight uh, hey, that's pretty much it. See you.